This is an unboxing, for those of you that enjoy this kind of thing, of two microphones, the uh, SE Electronics V7X and the V7. Now, the reason I have these is because somebody mentioned in a comment that uh, the V7X is good for vocals. And if you saw the video I did, I looked at the frequency plot and saw it seemed to be fairly similar to the Biodynamic M88, which is a, mic I, a dynamic mic I favour. I find one of the best ever made, actually. And I wondered. That was designed in 1962, the Biodynamic these, I think, are 2016 or 2017 they were released. I'm thinking with all the, how many years is that, 60? In 60 years, surely, we're able to produce something better with the materials and advances and everything. So that was, they're quite modestly priced, around £70. The current M88 is 280 I think, something around that. I favour the older M88. Also, over a period of time, I've struggled to recommend a mic to people. I mean, how do you recommend a mic with all their different shapes? And this one accentuates that, this one's forceful, this one's only, you haven't got the voice to try it on. So I quite fancied the idea of the V7X, which seemed to be nearer to being flat, and it's quite extended. The V7 has got more of a shape to it. So obviously I'm going to use them, compare them. Can use them at school to some extent with a unfortunately with a little uh, plastic glove thing over it but you know gives some idea and i'll let you know so i'll get on with uh unboxing them then which one should i do first uh i'm gonna do the 7x because they i imagine they'll look identical but we'll see because uh that was the one that inspired my getting these se electronics and uh i thought about i'd get the other one later to compare. Well, the box is nice enough. Some information on there which you can see. Done with this. I think. Why not? That's not English. I'm sure there's English there somewhere. Nice enough, not over the top, nice enough. Silica gel, thank you. with an insert. So far, so good. No padding. Maybe it's tough enough not to need it, or I'm sure you could fit your own if you're particularly uh, concerned, or particularly rough with your Handling of microphones on transit and so on. Nice enough, this. We'll see how it fits. I'm sure it'll fit fine. Oh, yeah. Apparently they have two different colours of uh, foam insert. Slightly thicker on the top there, from what I can feel. I could be wrong. Yes, slightly thicker on the top. And tapers, gradually. Bubble wrap for the mic itself. I'm happy with the packaging, I'd say kind of nicely done. 
firm cardboard is going to stand up to uh, shelf life and so on, and uh, not a lot of waste, which we're increasingly concerned with these days. The mic itself, I think very smart. Fits very nicely in the bag and uh, room for some extra padding if you feel the need for that. I'm going to review these in detail later, but I may as well. Okay, threads are a little bit coarse. Bear in mind these are inexpensive microphones, but they do the job. And you're not going to be doing this, I don't imagine, frequently. Oh. One thing I noticed immediately, so so if this comes out, does it come out easily enough for me? Or I'm going to, I think I'm going to have to use tweezers, so I won't change that right now. One thing I did notice, I took the top off. Yes. So, with the, um, I've gone to the other one, foam on the top there. With the uh, Biodynamic M88, whether it's your flavour or not is another matter. But uh, two things I always thought could be improved is uh, the handling noise on the M88 and also the breath noise but you've got to be careful with the breath noise because you start putting stuff between there and the diaphragm then it's stuff between your voice and the diaphragm so that's always a bit of a we shall see yep fits very well Handsome enough, no? And then quickly, the other, which I imagine will be near identical. Ah, okay, there's two microphones here because this manual then is for the V7 and the V3. Again, and again, and again, and again. Oh. Well, I think that's simply telling you to put the foam <laughs> on the inside rather than trying to stretch it on the outside. Where did I put the other one? We can see which is which. Oh, a different shape. I didn't see that in the pictures on the web. If anything, if you like, a little bit more SM57 shaped and sort of 58 shaped. So maybe that's, we shall see when we come to use it. For some reason, the th threads on this one are smoother. Similar. That appears to be similar, and the foam appears to be similar. I wondered if there might be a difference with the uh, foam, this one being focal. Oh, have we got... Yes, indeed. From what I can tell, Now I've lost that one. Yeah. Okay. Well, from what I can tell, the V7X 
has finer foam. So I guess to do with uh, pop blasts. So I remember which one's which, what I will do. Okay, that's it. I'm going to get on and use them. <laughs>